Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide and the third video in the series where I'm going to be playing Ride Sims 2. And now the website has now officially launched. It's www.ridesims.com if you want to play these simulators for free. Uh, and I'm absolutely loving this. There's eight simulators still so far. I started with the Walt Disney World monorail and then Taron. Uh, the first of which being a hard simulator. The second one being a moderate simulator. Uh, and the third one now is Baron 1898 which is classed as easy uh, on their website. Uh, uh, now, of course, we were given early beta access to test the simulators, make sure there was uh, no issues with them and stuff. Um, so, yeah, thanks to the guys for that. Uh, it was really kind of them to sort of allow us a bit of a preview of it and, of course, share it with you guys as well. Uh, but, yeah, straight in then, operating Baron 1898. It's a B&M dive coaster located at Efteling in the Netherlands. And it's a great ride. It's very heavily themed. Uh, it runs three trains. It's got a really nice pre-show, uh, cool air gates. Um, so, yeah, I can't wait to get stuck in with this one. Obviously, you might I've already played this now um, you know obviously before you were sort of getting a preview before the launched so you might have played this or maybe you've just stumbled across the video and thinking oh yeah let's go and check out ride sims but highly recommend the site it's really good fun and it puts you in that operator's chair to operate some of your favorite rides around the world um, so yes talking of operations let's have a look at the manual just here and we'll get straight stuck in with this one um, so to put the floor down and dispatch we've got to hold the space key also the space key to get the floor back up obviously with it being a flawless uh, dive coaster it means that the floor uh, needs to be raised and lowered uh, we've got the right arrow and the left arrow keys for opening and closing the air gates as i said just you got some cool air gates on this because you can't actually see the train because you're sort of you can see the baron like an animatronic above you and everything and then the lights flash and then it actually lets you into the station so that's quite cool e stop and reset is the s and the r key then got to open the restraints, which is the up arrow, close restraints, the down arrow. That's similar to some of the other simulators we've played on the on the site. Pre-show load and start. So we actually have to operate the pre-show ourselves. I like that. That's the enter key. Single rider add into A and B. That's the two different sides of the pre-show, I assume, which is the one and two key. Yeah, it sounds, you know, pretty straightforward. Let's give it a go. As always, down at the bottom here, it does give you uh, all the different instructions and things as well if you are uh, struggling with the game. But, uh, yeah, let's get started. So we'll turn the power on just here. And then we've got to reset the emergency stop, which is the R. There we are. I'll reset engaged. And I like that. The, the wheel comes down. And there we are. That's now turned to act. Loving the audio as well. I've not put any of the audio on top. It's all what you hear in the game uh, with this one. It's not like Planet Coaster where I have my own bits in. It is actually from the game, which is cool. And so there we go. The system is now active, which is cool. So if we put it into uh, maintenance mode, let's turn our blocks on. There we are. Uh, we can see the trains now moved in there uh, into the station. That's quite cool. I love the, the design of all this. Probably my favorite interface, actually, of all of the simulators. That is ready to dispatch, but we're going to actually put on a, a train. So I, I assume, is it transfer pause maybe? And then add train, and then it'll move out, I assume. There we go. That's it. So we'll uh, get it on two trains to start with. Moving that one out. I'm not actually touching anything here for them to move out. It's all doing it by itself as soon as I've pressed add train and selected what bay I wanted them to go to. And then I assume here, is it going to move forward for me automatically maybe i would say so if we turn that off there we go yeah so that i've not touched anything there other than turning off the transfer pause uh let's move that out i tell you what whilst we're here we may as well put the uh let's put the third train on because it, it's gonna get busy queues isn't it so add train again and then out to the third bay moving it out i like the positioning actually of of baron 1898 uh maintenance shed and storage facility because, you know, you can't see it at all when you're in that pre-show. You don't realise that you're actually sitting on the transfer track. And a lot of rides, it's sort of down here at the end, isn't it? You know, and your maintenance shed would sort of be here. So I like that. Turn that off again. And that's going to move that one forward. And then we're ready, I would say. We're going to send some test trains first. And then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll get it open. Of course, we've got to run the pre-show as well. Single rider queue. I mean, I'm not a big fan of this queue line system down here anyway, really. They give you like a raffle ticket at this point and it does get a bit confusing sometimes. Uh, but yes, let, let's go for it. So we've got the train already in. Let's have a little zoom in. We've got a couple of different views. That's the zoomed in view on the station and the zoom out. So let's zoom in for now. So obviously we can dispatch that. So it was hold the space key down. Ah, there we go. So that's to shut that. Okay. So we want to 
lift the restraints, which is the up key. So obviously everybody would be getting off at that point there. We'd open the gates, uh, which would be the left and right arrows to open the gates. Uh, and then of course we'd put the restraints back down. So obviously we're gonna get some guests here in a minute, so we don't need to open the gates for now. And then if I hold that down, uh, hey, very mind I'm holding the space bar still at this point. I don't think you can just press it, you have to hold it. And that's moving the train out into the pre-show. Oh, it's got the audio as well. Oh, I'm loving that. Brilliant. Obviously, it's gone straight up to the lift hill there. I assume it is going to hold in the pre-show. Um, but yeah, right, let, let's open the ride. So if we go up to the uh, open, just at the top, just here. There we are. State busy. Busy? There's no one there, is there? Yeah. <laughs> Love it. All right, okay, so the, with this one, you don't get a choice with the single rider key. You have to manage the single rider key by the looks of it. Obviously, on Taran and I think some of the other simulators, you get a, you get a choice as well. So there we go. So we can close that. I see, so we've got people down here at the pre-show now. Uh, so what was it, the enter key? There we go, that's the doors opening down here, look, for the pre-show. I see, I get it. Yeah, you, you, they say it's an easy sim, but you have actually got quite a... There's quite a bit to do, actually, on this, because you've got to be operating the pre-show and, and running that. So if we press the enter key again, does that shut the doors? And that is that how we start the pre-show? There we go, we can dispatch that. So yeah, you, you, there's quite a lot to run. Obviously, you're running... Uh, you know, your, your station and your pre-show. Why is that not dispatched now? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that, that's right. I wasn't holding it down fully. Yeah, you've got to wait for it to start moving before you let go of the space bar. But yeah, there is quite a lot, you know, to it. You class it as an easy simulator. I'd probably say it's moderate. Uh, but obviously the good thing, well, like I just keeps changing from busy to average up here on the state of how busy it is. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's nice simulator. I do like it. You don't need to hold it when you're uh, bringing the floor back up there and shutting the gates at the front. You just have to press it, as we just worked out there. So we're just waiting now because all the people are gathering. This is the problem with the actual ride. I love the pre-shows to bits, don't get me wrong. But that, that's the issue with it, isn't it? It means that it causes a bit of a backlog. Uh, and obviously the train, when it holds down here in the pre-show and stuff, yeah, it does cause a, a bit of a backlog. Well, here we go. We're ready to... Get some people on now, there we go. So that door opens itself, I've not pressed anything there. Right, so now that we're ready, if we switch the ride from maintenance mode into normal mode, just there, and then we should be able to open the gates, which is the left and right arrows, isn't it? So there we go, right arrow to open. And there we go, we've got guests seated now. We've got a queue gathering quite quick, haven't we? So I've pressed the enter key to start the pre-show again. Restraints down, which is the obviously the down button the down key ah, I need to shut there we go it won't let you put the restraints down until you shut the door then it'll be the down key there we go so that's going down and then uh, yeah it's hold and, and dispatch isn't it so you're still holding the space bar and out it goes hey, you know, it's easy enough I probably wouldn't say it's the easiest you know simulator it's probably the same sort of uh, difficulty as Taran, I would say. You know, I would class it as a modern, uh, a modern, a <laughs> moderate simulator. Um, but yeah, you know, you just gotta, you soon get the flow of it, don't you, really? There we are. I can imagine a train's gonna back up a bit like they do on the actual ride here. Um, that's an interesting one. The thing is, here now, obviously, I've got, you know, I've got my doors opening, but there's no one here because the pre show's still going on. So it'll get into the swing of things in a minute uh, once we get it going. There we are, they're coming up now. So let's open them. Straight on the ride, please. Straight on. One person. And the next one's into the pre-show. Enter. One person's coming on, great. Yeah, I was expecting them to move forward there, but I suppose you've got to wait before they're actually in the uh, uh, in the gates, but not a problem. We'll soon get this queue down. I mean, it's going out into the back now, into the extension. Hold it down, let's patch that one goes and we'll have to start letting some singles in soon as well right oh i like the audio it's so good i welcome all of you workers in my mind there we are. get the floor back up restraints up and yeah let's get them people on here we go we got a full train pretty much now obviously we've got three single riders so i need to merge them in as well obviously the single rider point doesn't merge in here it's done down here at the pre-shows is interesting so left key to shut the door down key to bring the restraints down and then we just get ready to dispatch but obviously we can't dispatch yet because that train's not moved out onto the lift hill 
it's a bit like the actual ride. Yeah, I love the pre-show to bits. It's fantastic, but there we go. Uh, but obviously, it does cause hold-ups. They are. Enjoy your ride. He's got his own train. That's like an enthusiast dream, isn't it? Uh, awesome. Right, we're getting the swing of it now. So how do we uh, bring in these uh, single riders? Let's get, have another look on the options. Um, so it was the one and two key. Ah, so depending on the size just here, we just bring them in, I assume. There we are. So what we're doing now, bring the floor back up. There we are, first riders are back. Hope you enjoyed your ride on Baron, Acton, Acton Erkanen, which is, I know it's not how you say it, but you know what my pronunciation's like. Lights are flashing, and the doors are open. There we go. All right, we can let the next ones down here into the uh, pre-show. So if we press one and two now, does that bring out the single riders? Doesn't seem to be. Okay, shut the doors. Restraints down. Start the pre-show as well with my right hand. And yeah, dispatch the train. There we are, off it goes. Yeah, so if I press one and two now, is that... Ah, here we go. Oh, it's just put all the singles in there. Right, I see what we're doing now. I see what we're doing. Put the floor up. Oh, here we go. We're getting the uh, getting the flow of it now. Strengths up. The thing is, you don't want to be going too fast anyway with this. I was, you, you're going to ruin the, the flow, so to speak, of the ride. You know, you, you want it sort of... Like now, all my trains are back here, and it's been running all right, really. So yeah, you don't want to be going too fast, else it's just going to be held up by this pre-show. It's the on-ride pre-show what seems to cause the the, the the problems on the ride, really. Shut the doors. Bring that down. You can spend ages though just trying to get the timing uh, perfect, you know. To be honest, off that one goes. That's it. And then as this train comes on, but oh, there we go, they're going to fill up. Yeah, that's it. Moving up from down here. So now we can start, press the enter. Along with that, space bar to bring the floor up. Restraints up. There we are. Enter, get them in the pre-show. Doors open. Everybody's piling on. Doors closed. Close the doors, please. Thank you. <laughs> down goes. The restraints, and then we're uh, yeah ready for a dispatch. Whenever the train's ready to go, there we are. One's off. I'm just, just waiting for my green light down here now, and there it is. Hold down. That's some good operations. That one going up the lift, one coming in on the brakes, and then that can come straight in. Then shut the doors of the pre-show again. Welcome all of you mind walkers for our broad in my mind. <laughs> There we go. But yeah, like I just you know wanted to show you guys how to operate. I mean, we might get a breakdown at some point. You know, like breakdowns, uh, as I mentioned before, they are built into this game. You know, so you can get breakdowns and things, which is always good fun. Um, but yeah, you know, in general, that that is the Baron Simulator. It's very easy to operate this one. You can soon get your score up. Obviously, you know, to get thousands and thousands, you've got to play these for, for hours and hours, haven't you, really? Um, you know, but once you get the hang of it, like now we've got it running on three trains, you know, Theoretically, it shouldn't start stacking up too much now. We should be, you know, all right. And we can hold that, dispatch that one, you know. And that I would say that's quite good operations, really. One going up there, one coming in here, uh, you know, and one coming out, really. You know, that's that's all right, that is. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll get a breakdown. I'll keep playing it for another couple of minutes. But, um, yeah, you know, would you like me to film some more of these? I've done three. Obviously, the game's out now. Would would you want me to carry on doing some more? I, I might. What would you like to see next if I was going to do one? Uh, I was maybe thinking about doing Splash Mountain. That's one of the harder ones. Uh, a lot of people are saying that is, like, the hardest simulator because it's got, like, 60 boats or something. Uh, and you've obviously got to, uh, to run and operate that. Um, so yeah, like comment below your thoughts on this one. I just thought I'd record one of these. Not the longest uh, of, of videos out there. Uh, but you know, I just thought I'd record one so you guys can get more of a feel for it. And of course, I know a lot of you have been playing the game. Comment below your scores as well. I have been trying to look to see if there's been any uh, like YouTube users who I recognise who've put the scores on. Um, but yeah, comment down below because I'd really like to know what are your highest scores. I mean, I've not really... I've had a go at all the simulators now, but I've not spent a lot of time uh, on them yet to really bump my score up so to speak but I know some people have got like 20,000 and stuff I mean you can see I've already dispatched uh, you know quite a, a few trains now I'm only on 195 and um, so yeah it does take 
uh, time to, to, to do stuff. But it's you know, it's all good fun, isn't it? That's what writing is all about. It's not really about having a, ru a rushing thing. It's about taking your time and really getting that accuracy uh, when it comes to uh, dispatching the trains. But yeah, I'm pleased with that now. I'd say, you know, after about 10 minutes or so, we've got it running uh, quite well. And then you just keep running it like this now and building that score up. Of course, if you do get a breakdown, uh, you know, you want to be calling a mechanic and you might have to reset some blocks and things like you saw at the start when we had to turn uh, the blocks on and things. Uh, but yeah, it's not too difficult at all, as you can see, you know, you just keep uh, keep it going. You just got to make sure you keep holding that space bar down long enough, like I didn't do it there again. Hold that space bar down so it's fully, uh, so it can fully dispatch just here. And obviously if you want to take trains on and off, uh, you can do just by, uh, of course, going to maintenance mode, transfer pause, and then removing uh, a train just there as well. But yeah, let's um, just have a little look on here again. Yeah, breakdowns were turned on. Reliable ride to B&M, what can I say? Um, but yes, comment down below with your scores. That's going to wrap up uh, this video. A bit of a shorter one from Barry in 1898, uh, or Achten Achten Erkenen, as I'll say it for you Dutch viewers out there. I know you're all probably laughing because that is not how you say it, but you know what I'm like. Come on, my pronunciation. Uh, is absolutely awful isn't it uh, and also along with commenting your scores uh, what you've got so far in ride sims let me know uh, which one you'd like to see me do next because I'll definitely uh, do another one if you guys keep liking them I'll keep doing them until I've covered all the simulators and I'm sure there'll be some new ones coming soon as well so thank you very much for watching I'm Sean Sambrook this is Theme Park Worldwide and I'll see you in the next video enjoy ride sims